Hi, this is David Birch at Star Pass School of Navigation, and I want to uh, do a sample plotting uh, with the parallel rulers and dividers. And uh, we'll start out and maybe plot something, uh, say 1.2 nautical miles, and we'll go in direction 030 magnetic. Then we'll turn. Um, Turn to 095 magnetic and say go, oh, well, say 4.5 miles, nautical miles, and then ask for um, ask for the latitude and longitude. After doing that, so the tools uh, tools we'll be using is uh, these um, speedbow dividers. They have a nice feature that you rotate at the very precise setting, but you can override it by just pulling them. That's one tool. The other tool is uh, parallel rollers, which which look like this and I'll demonstrate their use. So let's start. We are going to start at this point here. Um, let's start at this buoy right here. And then we're going to be going out here. Um, Let's see, 1.2030, something like that, and then turn and come down these uh, inside lane here. So we uh, start out, we can draw the direction out of here in 030, and we do that off of the compass rows here. The outer scale is the true scale. The inner, inner, inner circle here is uh, rotated over like that, equal to the variation, in this case about 21 degrees. Um, and then, so we go in here and 0, 10, 20, 30. So that's the direction we want to go. And the normal trick underway is you would plot, plant those in there and then put this parallel rulers up to it, rotate it up till it just crosses that center X like that. Then you hold this one down. Let me move my board up here. You hold this one down. And then you move this up to the starting point, which would be about right there, like that. And then um, at this point, we draw the line. You can just barely see that. I'll just pull it over a little bit. So we're drawing the line right out of here. So there's a line emanating out of that buoy at 030 magnetic. Now the next job is we want 1.2 miles up that 1.2 miles, and we and we get that off of the miles, the latitude scale over here on the right, and this is like 48 degrees, uh, for 48 degrees 10 minutes, and then if we go on up the chart, we see here 20 minutes. So these are the tick marks. But I think it's always best, just so I don't have to measure those a second time, I'm just going to label it 11, 12, 13, 14, 5th. There's a big mark, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. That, that's going to be handy for your plotting anyway in the future, and then you don't have to think about it twice. you got it on there now. And uh, we want 1.2. I have to double-check these tick marks again in here. That's a two, four, six, eight, ten. So each one is two. So if we want 1.2, I'm rotating that with my thumb. Let me come back here and you see I'm actually using my thumb here to rotate this. So I'm rotating, there's one, and then I'm coming up to 1.2. And you want to do that as carefully as you can. So that's setting at 1.2. Now I just come back here. And from this buoy, mark off 1.2, and that's our turning point right here. Now at this point, we turn to course 095, same uh, same routine as before. Here's 90. We have to double check always 90, 100, 110, 120, 90. So each of these are two. So that's two, four, um, two, four, five. Five is about right in the middle. Plant that there, bring this up here, rotate it up so that's lined up with that. And then I can then just roll this back down. Oh, I grabbed the wrong tool. Okay, I, I grabbed the second tool here, and then I'm drawing this line in from here. However, let's go back to the tool I said we were going to use. Same routine again. Find uh, inside rows 90, 2, 4, 90. Let's see, 90, 2, 4, 6, 5 is about there. Bring this up, 
same routine, rotate it up to there, hold this part down, and then rotate this. Well, actually, in this case, you could just almost do it on this side. So you could either do it on this side, and there's our line, draw the line, or if you had to go further, you could just walk it down there, bring it up to here, and then walk it back to there. That's the way that I use those parallel rollers. Now we need to distance here 4.5 nautical miles. I go back to my scale over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4.5. And that's, again, check this is exactly right. And then 1, 2, 3, 4. 4.245. Again, judge as best you can right there. 4.5. Then I come back to the picture and put that there and there. And there's my uh, position at 4.5. Normally I put a dot and then a circle. These are DR positions. Put a circle there like that. This line up here no longer has any value on the chart. We can just get rid of it. So there's our, our course uh, like that. And now the next job will be to read the latitude and longitude.